All right. Uh, so my first question is, what is philosophy? Philosophy is come down to uh, wisdom. Actually, it means a uh, love wisdom, right? Mm. If you learn about uh, something, it's, it means a uh, love wisdom in, uh, I think it started from the ancient Greece or uh, some place in Europe. And a lot of philosophers uh, were born there. And people like Aristotle, or Plato, those kind of people, right? Mm. Yeah. So it means wisdom. You have to learn some wisdom about life. If you don't learn about wisdom, it's a big trouble for you. All right. So, um, have you followed any philosophers? Yeah, there's this lady from Russia. She was a very famous. Uh, she has been very famous. I don't know how to say that. She's from. She was from Russia. She. Uh, escaped from the Soviet Union and then she went to Hollywood to be a, a playwright, writer, right? And then later she, she uh, developed this uh, philosophy called uh, Objectivism. And her name is Ayn Rand. Maybe you know this guy, this lady. And one thing about this lady is about, uh, I think it's about that to be selfish People should be selfish. We should not sacrifice ourselves for the others. And also we, we don't want to, uh, others to uh, sacrifice for us. This is what I learned from her, but there's also many other things. Yeah. So this is the takeaway from her book. Yeah, just, she, had, she had, had many books. Mm -hmm. One is called Atlas, Atlas Shrug. The one I sent to you is a, a masterpiece. It's a novel. Actually, it's a novel. A bunch of guys they are, they are fed up with the world, so they would like to create a new world for themselves. And they become the maybe the deserters or the quitters. They say enough is enough. We just want to build our own world. We don't want to play the games with you guys anymore. So it touches on the topic of altruism. Yeah, altruism. Or, or another word is uh, selfishness. To be selfish is a very good trait. So like don't don't sacrifice for others. Mm -hmm. Don't sacrifice for the others. Also. Even though it's your wife, it's your husband. Don't sacrifice. The reason you marry this person is because your life will be made much better because of this person. Your life quality will be much better, not worse. Then you get married. All right. So uh, let's move on. Uh, what would you say to people who claim that you are the one who has been brainwashed. Oh, that's an old question. Brainwash? What is brainwash? I would, like, I would like to ask this kind of people. They don't know what brainwash is. So how can they know that whether I have the brainwash in my mind or not? And for me, it's very simple. Brainwash is something that people use some uh, misconceptions or use some uh, wrong information to put into your brain. And once you have this uh, wrong information, those are not true, then you are using them to guide your life. That's a big trouble because they're not right. They're not true. And as you said, people, how do you know that whether it's true or not? So I would like to say that as a human being, we should be confident. We have the ability to know what is right, what is wrong. Not, not those people like, uh, Mysticism. Those people don't believe there is truth. They just believe some mysterious things, some magic power, some ancient magic power. Well, very wonderful. But actually, I don't believe those BS. We cannot believe those BS. 
just because they are old. Yeah. Can you be more? Can you, like can you elaborate uh, on brainwash? Like how do people brainwash others? How? Like the bunch. Uh, this is a very extreme example. A bunch of guys from Myanmar, or Burma. Very young guys, maybe twenty something or, or or teenagers. They went to French to learn from those philosophers there. They learn about socialism, not communism. Sorry, maybe that's not a good one. But anyway, they learn some philosophy, right? Coming back, what they do? Slowly, slowly, they move up. They move slowly to the top of the society. Build a regime, and then kill twenty-five percent of the people there. If you have the glasses, will be killed. So this is the philosophy. The power of idea is mightier than a pen. It's mightier than a gun, right? Sorry. So those guys, right, young guys, they have they had nothing. They just went to learn in France with the wrong philosophers. Coming back. They have was they were, they were so powerful that they kill a lot of people. Can you imagine that? No, horrible. Twenty five percent of people. That's genocide. Crazy. Not maybe not genocide, but uh, they kill the intellectuals maybe. Oh. But that's 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 how bad a wrong philosophy can be. It kills people. What if they? Just for the sake of argument,、mm -hmm. let's say those guys, they, they, they didn't, they didn't follow exactly what they are taught by those philosophers in France. Maybe they or there is a misunderstanding of what they are taught. In France, I don't know exactly, but I want to say that、uh, there are some evil philosophers. There、mm -hmm. are, like、uh, Kant. It is he is said to be very evil, even though a lot of people believe that. But、uh, when we talk about this, it's all about politics. It's very sensitive.、Mm. But I want to say that,、uh, yeah, there are some very evil philosophers, and. Once you follow these kind of people, the society will be messed up. And a lot of people, if you look at them, they are very talkative, they are very persuasive. It seems that they make sense a lot, but actually they are BS. It's so interesting word, but most people will believe these kind of people because they are very、uh, charming, they are very deep voice. Yeah, they can easily brainwash people. We should learn from them. So, as an individual,、uh, how can we protect ourselves from being brainwashed? Like you should learn, you should learn every day. It's very easy to be brainwashed. It's not an easy job because think about the information, right? Information have different sources. And you are easily to get those wrong sources, and then your brain will be contaminated very easily. And because you don't have some、uh, patterns or some models to look at the world, and this kind of wrong、uh, information, wrong principles, you will easily to believe if you don't have this kind of、uh, ability. Easily, you don't know what is right, what is wrong. And it makes sense. You feel that wow, this guy makes sense, and then you will follow. And then let me give you an example. Is、uh, it is about a、uh, uh, society doesn't exist. Why? Because society cannot feel pain. Cannot feel happiness. Think about that, right? Society cannot feel anything.、Mm. As the uh, famous uh, one and only uh, uh, the author of the uh, uh, humankind,、mm. Homo sapiens,、mm. this guy from Israel, he said, "If one enti entity cannot feel the pain or happiness, this this entity does not exist."、Mm. 
so society does not exist but individual can feel this pain right happiness they can we can feel many things so individual does exist mm. but society doesn't mm. but people will use that you should be good to the society you should sacrifice yourself mm. you should you should you should be good for the the big good the whole whole society not just be so selfish but society doesn't exist so instead so instead we should be kind and nice to each everyone yeah each and everyone every right. individual don't sacrifice a minority for the majority that's very evil what if one day it is you to be sacrificed like this guy you say wow we are so good we're a very good society and then he has been in uh, uh, India for maybe 12 months uh, very very long time cannot come back and then he said doesn't matter I sacrifice for my country I know I know I, I want to sacrifice for my country but he cannot come back you understand what I, I'm talking about and not really this guy saying wow we are very good we are very good society mm. trying is the best but he has been refused to come back to his homeland uh -huh. for many months uh -huh. feeling that it is right because he sacrificed for the whole good oh okay okay i think i i get it now mm -hmm. all right oh uh, so let's move on um so many questions huh? Um, yeah, like a, a lot of people, they, I personally know of some people, they are, you know, voracious learners and readers, mm -hmm. they, they read a lot, but I think they read books that are not really, you know, Beneficial. yeah, you know, in the, in the intelligent sense. So what would you say to those people? But reading is always a good thing. Now reading how, is always good. Now how can we discriminate the good from the bad? Yeah. Now what, what it's not of, very easy. Yeah. What kind yeah, it's not what very kind, easy. What it's, kind of books should we should we should we read? What kind of books? Good yeah. books. What are the good books? How can we know? Like uh, if define. you uh, it's it's ability you have you you have to learn. I I cannot I cannot read represent you to choose you have to to do it yourself it's ability that takes time we cannot um, it's your life you need to know that what is good what is bad for you mm. like there was a guy he was about to uh, graduate so he would like to choose he, he has two choices one is to go to Paris to pursue a master degree another one is to go to a very big firm so he was like asking uh, maybe uh, Howard Rook, a, a guy in the book. And then uh, Howard said, uh, why do you want to ask me? You should decide yourself. It's your life. If you ask me already, it's meaningless. All right. What would you tell people who don't have a discernible life direction? No direction. No discernible life direction. What is that? Discernible. Or... What is discernible? Not very clear, right? Yeah. If you are not very clear about life, follow their heart. Do something make them excited. And be entrepreneur to make it a business. I mean, as an individual. Yeah. Oh, I mean, those who don't have a discernible life direction. Of course, we love something we know. You love a girl, you know, right? When you meet a girl, you love, you know that. When you when you when you meet something you love, you know that. You like basketball, you like football, you know that, because you can play all the time. So then, just do it, make it a business. I don't I don't think any any people who doesn't like anything. People must like something, love something, but they just don't have the courage to make it a business. And they don't read books to learn. 
They don't learn from the others. They BS all the time. They just talk. They don't ask questions. So how can they improve? And if you want to make a business, it's very difficult. You have to learn every day. All right. Uh, let's move on. What would you tell people who have realized what their problems are, but have but are failing to take actions to, you know, modify their behaviors or change their oh, actions? Oh, very good question. That's what I'm doing. I I am this kind of person. I think uh, I'm learning about the, uh, a book called uh, Miracle Morning. Miracle Morning. Very good. Because morning is the rudder of the day. Rudder is uh, something you to, to guide the ship. So morning is very important. If you want to uh, have a good life, you should have a s every day successful. So morning is very important because morning has the ripple effect means that you are very uh, impactful to the whole day. Like wake up, you need to do things that are maybe boost your energy. Because when we wake up, we maybe we have low, low energy. So it may be very cold, you don't want to wake up. And you may, you may uh, not very clearly about what you want to do. So you need to write down. Or you may... Uh, yeah, just just do something meaningful. Meditation, yeah, different kind of things. Exercise, and then writing. In the make the morning, the Count. rather the day. Yeah, morning is important. Okay, so get up early. Make yeah, get up very early, very early. Every morning. Now you have more time to prepare the day. All right. If you if you don't do this, and if you have been failed for many many years like me, you need to wait. You need to change your lifestyle. If you do not change, you uh, it is called insanity. Insanity is the doing the the the, the same mm -hmm. thing again and again and expecting a different outcome. That's wrong. So that's why I am changing recently. Okay, great. I guess that'll be all. Okay, Thanks. thank you very much. Thanks for the interview.